joins us. A lot of thunderstorms. Let's get right to it. Yeah, sure is. And right around Portland, too. For the most part, Portland has kind of escaped some of the mm. thunderstorm activity, but I don't think that's going to happen here over the next half an hour. So we could have some lightning right around the Portland metro area. I do want to give you this update first and foremost. Uh, the severe thunderstorm watch that was extending into areas like Eugene, Lynn and Lane counties there. Uh, that has now expired, or has at least been lifted. Uh, the rest of the yellow counties here, that does include Deschutes and Jefferson over towards uh, Pendleton, the community, uh, it's until 8 p.m. Still expecting some very strong thunderstorms, wind, hail, heavy rain, lightning, possibility for severe thunderstorms too. We've already seen that at times pushing through parts of Oregon and Washington. Okay, you can still see that thunderstorm activity, and although many of them are in central and eastern Oregon, a lot of cells still sliding up from the Willamette Valley here uh, from Eugene into Marion County, into Clackamas County, and then again right here around Multnomah County at this hour. And it's going to remain in place at least for the time being. I don't think we really see these conditions settle down to the sunset tonight. Okay, here's Portland right now. I mean, all around us it's been gray, it's been rainy, but Portland will eventually probably have a few showers here and it could be heavy. So if you do have to leave, get outside here over the next half an hour. You need to grab the kids. You want to run to the store. Uh, it's going to be a bit wet right around the Portland metro area. It looks We'll get that picture out of the way uh, so you can see what's going on down towards Sherwood here. This strong thunderstorm is moving to the north and northeast Beaverton here shortly, probably about 20 minutes or so, maybe a little bit earlier. You'll likely have this cell right there. It's producing uh, probably a little bit of hail, uh, some strong wind, heavy rain and some lightning. We've had some power outages down in Marion County because of the lightning and the wind. Uh, we could potentially see more as we head into this evening. 205 is going to be very wet here. This is again moving to the north uh, at, at a pretty steady speed. However, the roads are just going to be very wet. That goes for 26 too. So if you're leaving Oregon City here and you have to travel to the north, you're going to be following that system and right behind it. There's more. Uh, at one time there was a little bit of hail that was just to the east of Lebanon pushing up towards Mill City. Uh, that's why that was circled there. But notice that most of that is out of your region. Now you have a time to kind of breathe for a little bit. Uh, as you have some relief from those thunderstorms earlier. Take you over towards central and eastern Oregon where there was a big thunderstorm here earlier too, uh, about 430 or so. Now just some light rain with your update there. And that goes for the Cascade foothills over towards zigzag. Plenty of hail uh, from a severe thunderstorm about 4 p.m. there. But you can still see the clip in the edge here. Estacada up towards battleground. Yeah, these cells, I mean, they're going to produce very heavy rain. If you can, you're just going to want to go indoors for about 20 to 30 minutes uh, as those still lift to the north. Okay, it's all because of this area of low pressure here that's going to be hanging around for not only today, but likely tomorrow and Thursday. That means we're probably going to see some more thunderstorm activity tomorrow, so hopefully we can kind of rebound uh, from this that we're seeing out there right now. Okay, 73 degrees still in Portland. Once that rain moves on in, it's going to drop our temperatures pretty quick. 68 degrees coming out of Stoller. You can see 57 for the Gorge. That's Skamania County and Seaside at 62 with some cloud coverage there, but nothing like what we're seeing here in the Valley and the Cascades. Okay, for the remainder of this evening, watch what happens. Those cells, they kind of push off to the north. We quiet down a bit, but can't rule out maybe another shower or thunderstorm as we uh, become into the overnight hours for at least central Oregon. I think we'll stay quiet here, but notice a couple of showers maybe early tomorrow morning, which could produce maybe some light rain for your morning commute. Okay, tomorrow the coast, probably in the lower 60s. I think upper 60s in the valley, but some locations might hit the lower 70s with a chance for another thunderstorm that goes for the gorge and over towards Madras and Pendleton and the extended forecast here. Notice that we get into a Thursday afternoon and evening, still a little wet. And then here's Friday morning, another little system. It's going to be wet the next couple of days, guys, but I think by the time we get to the weekend, it should uh, dry out. We'll have nicer weather. I have dropped our temperatures down just a little bit to the mid 70s, but it looks like we'll have some comfortable weather. And I guess really coming down in southeast Portland right now. Yeah, the showers, yeah so. these showers are going to produce a little bit All of a right. punch. Thanks, okay. Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. We'll be right